When Simon Stevenson left England in 1993 to come to the United States, he did so with the intention of teaching photography. He started working in restaurants on the side and fell in love with it. And before he knew it, he was enrolled in culinary school. Today, Stevenson oversees what is arguably one of the busiest kitchens in the area, the bake shop at the University of Massachusetts, Amherst. Producer Dave Fraser visited the bake shop one very early morning recently to bring us the story. Organization is key. You have to be organized. We are the largest and busiest kitchen on campus, bar none. We're baking for about 30,000 people every day. Everything's baked uh, as fresh as we possibly can. We don't bake for the freezer and then pull from that. We, we, we bake fresh every day. So the muffins that the students ate this morning were baked this morning. The earliest bakers come in at 3 a.m and immediately they start um, prepping uh, the breakfast items that are going to be going out that morning. On staff, all told, just over 100 people, but then that's broken down into uh, full-time bakers and then part-time bakers and then some students as well. Large-scale baking takes some planning ahead of time so that we have uh, a computer program um, that we can enter numbers in for how many uh, dozen muffins we want to end up with and uh, from that point it breaks down the ingredients for us to scale so that they're ready to be mixed the day of and scooped and baked. The uh, ovens um, will take two very large baking racks each the racks roll onto a turntable and the turntable rotates inside the oven to make sure that you have an even bake uh, of product. Local is really important. Students really do care about that. They're, they're asking for that local sustainable produce. They're, they're asking for those uh, sustainable practices. About 30% of our produce is, is, is grown and produced locally, which is a massive amount when you think about the numbers that we're feeding. So whether we're, we're using uh, uh, maple syrup from just down the road, the Hadley Sugar Shack, or, or uh, uh, Warm Colors Apiary uh, uh, Honey and uh, Deerfield. And even when we're not in session uh, during the summer, and, uh, w which is when a lot of that produce is available, we can still take that produce and still find ways to utilize it for later on in the school year. We're quite proud of, uh, you know, of our reputation, we voted Best in the Nation by the Princeton Review for the third year in a row, where UMass Dining Services is number one in the nation. And that's a big deal. It's great for our students because they get to enjoy some good food. It's, it's good for the university because it attracts a lot, a lot more people to us. And as we mentioned before, it's, it's, you know, it's good for local farmers as well because we're using a lot of local produce. And there's a lot of prestige among the employees as well. You feel good about being, being a part of an operation that is running really well and uh, is helping UMass excel in lots of different areas. Three, two, one, go. I'll take that back. About seven or eight times uh, right, a year, I teach uh, some baking classes and some chocolate classes. They come into the bake shop and we have them making their own bread. And we have them making molten lava cakes and uh, hand rolling truffles. It's a great way for dining services to, uh, uh, to reach out to the student body. Students really enjoy it. There's so much interest. And uh, it's a great way, again, for us to engage with the student body and for them to sort of take a peek behind the curtain a little bit and see what's going on. The bakers in the bake shop are the ones really in the trenches day in, day out, and they do a phenomenal job. There are, there are four ACF gold medal winners working at the bake shop. There's the American Culinary Federation. So it's an honor just to work alongside people like that. But it's, but it's certainly nice to go out into the dining commons and see people enjoying the food that you've, you know, that you've prepared. Because yeah, 3 a.m. is an early shift. You know, that's, 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 that's not easy to do. But there's a lot of satisfaction out of seeing people uh, enjoy the food that you've prepared. I've been at UMass for 14 years, and it was a real game changer coming here. It's been terrific. I've traveled all over the country and uh, seen a lot of great stuff, worked with a, a ton of terrific people, and you know, 14 years is, is a long time to have any job, and, and, and I've loved every minute. It's been great.